So you want to beat Weasel, the second boss of the Dark Hours raid, but you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, in this guide, we're going to talk about it. It's a pretty simple fight once you get the main mechanics down, and honestly, probably the easiest one in the raid by far. It can just be a little overwhelming at times, and you need to plan ahead. You're going to be dealing with two different types of poison that fill the room, and three separate bosses, but they honestly aren't that difficult to take down. Other than the AoE grenade launcher they can show, and aggroing you like crazy while hucking grenades and shooting miniguns, it, it, it's not as bad as it sounds. It really isn't as bad as it sounds. One quick tip before we begin is don't group up, because it's pretty much a death sentence. So let's get started and talk about the mechanics. There are two almost identical rooms, one on each side of the plane. To activate this fight, you're actually going to press one of the panels. Now, you can only see the colored panel on one end, so you're going to need to call out which panel to press at the same time as your teammate. The boss will spawn, and a sniper will spawn shortly after. You're going to want to take out that sniper as soon as you can, so he's not a threat. Now, you might notice that there is a purple poison filling the room. This is a damage debuff, and it will literally reduce your damage to zero, and then poison you if you don't change it. Now, after pressing the button on the panels, there is now an orange poison. This one allows you to do damage, but will disorient you after a short period of time. The debuffs can stack up to 20 before the major effect hits you, but I recommend swapping around 15. The people in the purple gas will do almost no damage beyond that, and the risk of just stacking over 20 because you get targeted is a little too high. So around 13, 14, 15, you really need to consider swapping the gas over. If the color is on your side, you're going to have to call out which panel to press. And the way we numbered it was number one was closest to the window, number two was in the middle, and number three was near the back of the plane. Now, this fight is a bit of an endurance test. You're going to have to keep swapping back and forth, and honestly, your damage is pretty damn good against these bosses. But you don't want to just burn one down if the other team isn't ready. If you kill one of the bosses, a third boss is going to spawn. You're going to want to try to kill these bosses at the exact same time. And if you run into situations where you press the wrong panel and, uh, you know, you get poisoned or disoriented, uh, there can be some massive swings in who is able to kill the boss first. So talk about it, plan it out, and don't get panicked. In this section right here, we are um, maxed out on our stacks. We are getting disoriented. We're getting poisoned. We're, we're running into some stress here. And so we need to focus up, switch the panels the right way, and recover. This whole fight is a balancing act, and once you get good at it, or you feel comfortable with it, it's really not that bad. Other than being targeted by the boss specifically with the red eye, uh, you're pretty much safe in this. Especially if you don't mess up on the panels, because the sniper doesn't even respawn. Uh, if you kill him at the start, you get all your panels done properly, you're fine. Now, optimally, when both bosses are low, everyone's healthy, you've got the right poison in the room, and you're stable, you can focus on killing these two bosses at the same time. We got them within just a couple seconds of each other, but at this point, the plane is going to lift up. Now, the poison on the plane is going to swap by itself. It is also going to fully debuff you each time before it swaps. So what this means is, if you have that little gun icon that I have currently, that means we are getting poisoned and do absolutely zero damage. So at this point, we just need to hide. The other one is going to stack up and disorient us. And so not only is this a balancing act because there's going to be phases where you literally can't do damage and you need to hide, and other sections where it's tough to do damage because you're disoriented. This poison swapping isn't as bad as you would think because now you don't have to focus on pressing the button at all. It just naturally does it, and so you can do these little windows of damage, and you can feel comfortable doing it because it's on a set timer. Now, this part does get a little stressful because the additional enemies do swarm in and start hitting pretty hard, but as long as you guys play this safe and realize when you're going to get debuffed, you'll be okay. The poison is frustrating to deal with, and the damage reduction is a little scary if there's an enemy right on top of you, but just hide behind cover and you'll honestly make it through this. 
Getting greedy is what gets you killed. Being caught out of cover when you're about to lose all your damage or you're about to be disoriented is when you lose. So as long as you're calling out the buffs and calling out when to try to burst down enemies and the boss, you'll be okay. I highly recommend killing all the additional enemies on one side and then each picking a different piece of cover. Uh, if you end up getting targeted by the boss, run away from your team and not towards them because it can be an instant kill and just talk about the buffs. You can see here that there's not a lot of stress, there's not a lot of additional enemies over here, but even one grenade uh, or one shock drone can be the death of you. And if you get caught out with the poison, it can seriously wipe your entire team. Stay behind cover when there's going to be a debuff, you know, once you get to 17, 18, stop trying to do damage. Hide behind cover and just react to when you get targeted by the boss. As long as you do that, it is a bit of a endurance, I guess, an endurance race here or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the better your damage, the faster this will go. If you have some top tier DPS, you can honestly nuke this boss in just a couple of minutes, a couple of cycles of the poison. And so, you know, the more damage you get, the better this is going to be. Two final things I want to discuss is when you're being targeted with that red eye, just get the hell out of there. Just run away from your team and don't stop moving. If you use cover to cover, he literally can't shoot you. Uh, he he kind of shoots his grenades behind you, and so that's why you don't want to run through your team because he'll essentially just hit them with the grenades. But as long as you keep moving, you're good. My mistake here, I was trying to like swap grenades. I, I just play this like an idiot. I should just keep moving at all times, run around. I know that I get poisoned here, but I am I'm like dead here. There's 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 no chance. And um, the other thing is he shoots an area of effect sticky grenade. Now. It seems to be random, but he likes to do it when people are getting revived for whatever reason. And I actually get stuck with it here. So I run the hell away. I try to get into the corner. He's about to stick me with it. And so when I do this, I try to get as far away from my team as I can. Because that area of effect is pretty large and it will kill your team. And so when you're trying to get revives, only send one person back there. Because if you try to group up and get revives and chain them all together... You're just going to get grenade launchered, you're going to get sticky bombed, and you're dead. Everyone's going to die, four people on your team are going to get instant killed, and this part of the fight is going to be over because you're all dead. So that's pretty much it for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. My team ended up taking out the boss for me while I was dead and crippled on the ground. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the sweet, sweet, sweet loot. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I can try to answer them. But I will see you soon, my friends. Bye bye